right. Okay, so this one on the right hand side now is kind of the practice position mm. I want you to get into. Okay, right. so you're going to just rehearse this. Obviously, you're looking back there now, which when you do it, you're going to swing back to that position. Yeah and then look what we don't want you to do is to follow it with your eyes because then right. yes if you follow it with your eyes you'll get in a good position but then when the golf ball gets there you can't follow it with your eyes and then you, your head will be sort of going all over the place okay so that's the position we're going to try and get you into if you look at the left hand one now this was where you did get to see the difference in the sort of two positions there uh -huh. you've basically got almost a 90 degree angle around kind of your left arm your elbow and your wrist there okay so not much, not, not really much good at all really, exactly yeah. yeah so we got no width okay so that's the feel we've got to try and do. Then you came back down. Your, your go by yourself wasn't too bad, in fairness. Okay, it went a bit further, but at least there was some hinge there compared to where you were. If we look at that sort of left arm there, it's maintaining a little bit more of a curve as opposed to a sort of a right angle bend. But this is where the practice is going to come in. So you could stand in front of a mirror or a reflection somewhere and just get into that position where you feel you're just pushing your hands out this way while hinging the wrist. Now, the two things that are going to help you hinge the wrists mm. and move your body better okay is grip position and pressure so a bit more in the fingers yeah, and a bit more with that thumb on top if we go back to your grip on the one here so your yeah, right yeah. hand now is very much to the side yeah? yeah we shouldn't be able to see that bit of grip underneath your right thumb in fact we shouldn't even be able to see your left thumb no <laughs> yeah so if you're overlapping as you do that thumb should sit pretty much snugly underneath that sort of thumb oh, pad no. so you're gripping in the fingers so that's got to be exactly, somewhere around yeah. there so that's going to be one thing in terms of the grip, pressure and it's position really to allow you like, still, yeah, like still loop. Again, I'll use that example. Imagine this part of the grip at the top is your phone screen, yeah? Mm. You just basically just, yeah, that's the pressure your thumb should have. So you'd be squeezing it tight. Mm. The other thing as well that's going to help your wrists hinge better and maintain that width is having the back straighter. Yeah. Does it mean taller? More often than not, it actually means stick your backside out, yeah? Mm. So you tended to have, so your lower back was quite upright and your top half was trying to lean down to the golf ball. Yeah. Don't then stand up on the ball because now you can't reach it, yeah? yeah? We've got to stay in that position but then just push the lower back further backwards. Yeah. And like I say, I would encourage where you can, just from your own health of your back, mm. do that stand against the wall yeah, okay, every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wake up in the morning, go downstairs, yeah. have your coffee, whatever. Yeah. Turn the kitchen while the kettle's boiling, just stand there for 20 seconds, 30 mm. seconds, and then go again. And after a while of doing that, let's say we did it every day for two minutes, okay? Morning and afternoon or whatever. By Christmas time, your back's going to feel a little bit more mm. supple, stronger, straighter. Mm. And hopefully then when you play golf, because your body can move better, yeah and you can hinge, you're not going to come to the golf course going, oh, it's a bit stiff this morning, because mm -hmm. we want you to be able to play as much as you can and almost enjoy the fact you can hit balls the next day or even practice mm -hmm. swing, not go and play a game of golf and like, oh, we'll be out for a few days now and recover. Yeah. So that was better, yeah? So that we're looking for that width again. That, that was you doing it by yourself in comparison to kind of where the same position is here. How much closer your hands are to your head and they just get closer and closer. Mm -hmm. That was a little bit longer. We started to go a bit more. There's a bit more, much more body turn, which is good, okay? Then when we step to the golf ball now, this is the important thing. When the ball is there and you're going to hit it, you're focusing on the ball. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't think about the movements because if you try and think about the movements, you forget the ball and yeah, just miss yeah. it. Yeah. You've got to make the swing. So what we're looking for is two or three practice swings that rehearses the movement. And then we'll hopefully see sort of an in-between. So that's where you were in pre previously with your kind of collapsing swing here. Mm -hmm. This is where your practice swing was getting to. We want to see the swing when the ball gets in the way to be in between that at this moment, yeah? Mm. And through more repetition and practice, we'll get further away from your old swing mm. and nearer to where your practice swing was, okay? So yeah. we do this now. Then we step to the golf ball. As we go back, we're just going to hit the ball. That's better, isn't it, yeah? Yeah. A bit more width there, okay? Yeah. We're trying to get some spacing now between your hands and your head, okay? Yeah, yeah. So that's how far back your lower half is moving a bit more. And then we so, come... so for me, if, I, if, I'm, if my back swing is only really going to about yeah, there... Yeah, it's fine. But this shape is all yeah, good. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's fine, isn't it? Think, think, of, think of your back swing like those sort of two types of elastic bands. You can get the, those industrial ones that are quite thick, mm. really baggy ones and stuff. And to get to fling anywhere across like a room, you've got to pull them back a long way. Yeah. yeah. But look at those little tiny ones that wrap around with like maybe yeah, yeah. notes and stuff. Yeah. You can put like a short way. They still got the same distance, don't they? Yeah. Mm. What we've got to try and do is create the tension and the torque effectively mm. that your golf swing can produce back to that goal point in terms of energy. Yeah. If that means a shorter better backswing mm. that's going to give you more efficiency down here mm. than just this long extended backswing that goes a long way it's collapsing and almost loose and floppy because they're not creating of that sort of the energy yeah? 
it's like they, I say the, the kid kicking the football. Yeah, you got the mm. one kid who stands by the ball and just toe punts it, and he goes like four or five yards. Mm. You get the other kid who's watched his daddy play and comes back out three or four steps, gets a bit more power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then that other kid who thinks he's a clever clogs and goes fifty yards back there for a run up. Yeah, by the time he gets the ball, <laughs> yeah. he's knackered. Yeah. 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 So just because he's gone back further doesn't mean the ball's going to go further. No, and your back yeah. swing in yeah. some ways was yeah. like that kid going back yeah. thirty yards to get extra yardage to kick it. Yeah. yeah. By the time you come back to the ball, you're not gaining any more energy. Mm. There's a point like on a bar chart where you sort of you have a, a better back so you get there and then once you keep going and then your swing gets longer you actually start losing energy yeah because you're not creating that kind of snap and that speed okay so when you come back to the golf ball now good strike and then turning through you follow through as it, as it would be so i wouldn't worry about that now but the key thing is to maintain that width hinging the wrist for you is important and ironically you were saying you were trying to stop hinging them so it just shows sometimes when you do things you might hit still some good shots well i think that's what happens over and over yeah again. i ended up taking a much shorter back swing in, yeah. my, in my mind's eye it's almost where yeah. i'm going by my ears yeah there's probably no risk break no, whatsoever God, no. yeah, but exactly, actually yeah. striking the ball quite yeah. well and now, it's times, like it's it, but, but it wasn't it, it soon fell apart yeah Short term fix. Yeah. Because generally, what three wrongs make it. You end up yeah. going a bit further without yeah. realising it. Yeah. Then, of course, you yeah. And three wrongs can make a right on the same basis. If yeah. you're on the same shot no, with the same club over and over again. Yeah. But as we know, golf is all about variety in different clubs. Yeah, so you've got the first mm. tee shot, then the second shot, the third mm. shot, all these different things. Okay. Does that make sense, Philip? Yeah. No, it does. Yeah, Excellent. yeah. Good stuff. So, um, if I want to book. Uh, yeah, we can do a little package what, and stuff if you yeah, want. To, yeah, what do you like? So I just got another two. If, yeah, I mean, we, we do, do a pack of three, yeah. so I do three yeah. half. This will be the first one of three today. Yeah, do you still um, upload these ones? Yeah, I'll be sent up once that. Um, cool. Hang on.